Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Open Beta and we are here at Mudwater River again basically to do some float fishing for largemouth bass. I did try to do some night fishing for, for uh, channel catfish but I hate to tell you guys I didn't have any luck so I didn't even bother going ahead putting out an episode for two reasons one I didn't get any uh, have any luck catching them at night and the second reason if I caught a normal size or common size catfish or trophy size catfish I don't have a net that's big enough to hold them yet so I've got to get up some levels before I can do that but I have had some luck with some of the largemouth bass fishing here and with different baits that are available at this time and you can catch the common ones a lot easier using these types of baits now let me show you what I'm using here still I'm blue I'm using the Omnifloat 11 foot by 5 inch the Windcast 2500 so that hasn't changed from previously however I have been able to start using a larger hook here so I am using the one out hook and I've got a, a couple of different types of baits here that I hadn't didn't have before one of which are crickets and the others are grasshoppers now these guys love the crickets and grasshoppers guys so it's definitely worth your time I'm using uh, 0 0.005 braid the chubby bobber you can use the oval bobber, it works just as well. I prefer the chubby for these guys. I've been fishing about 20 inches on my lead. It seems to work pretty good. Anyway guys, let's go ahead. This is prime time guys. So let's see how well these fish react here. Now the area I've had the most luck with these guys it used to be over here, but the current is so strong that it brings it down here and you're constantly fighting with uh, slack. So I would suggest starting right about here. You won't have as many issues with the slack. And I wouldn't go out that far. Probably about between about 60 and 50 feet maybe. So that's out a little too far. See, we're already getting a bite here. But these guys, they go for crickets, they go for the, the grasshoppers, and they'll go for minnows. Minnows, the only problem with those is they, I believe they do cost bait coins. So you want to try to stick with the cash if you can. There he goes. I think we've got us probably a young bass here. It's my guess. Yep, young largemouth bass. I finally have a keep net that's big enough to keep these guys, despite their size. All right, let's try throwing that out again. But basically, you want to throw it out about where that. Uh, I don't know if it's a yellow boat or well, that sucked. Let's try that again. Sorry about that. There are actually two boats over there, but I can't see the other one as well right now. But this boat right here, as long as you're within right around 50 and 60 feet in front of that boat, just let it float down. And it will float down because there is quite a current now. I usually get bites pretty regularly. See? About every other one is a regular size bass. I think we got another young one here. And just to let you know, I did get lucky one time and managed to get a trophy bass. I don't know what's going on with the cheese here, if you notice that. It's like it lost its image or something. Alright, let's throw a grasshopper on here.
see if we can't Yeah, the trophy I caught off of Grasshopper. It used to be the only way I could get them was off of Shiners and um, Shrimp. And I used to have to do it over there near the uh, near the front of the turn. It seems to have changed a bit. Okay, we got an interested party again. Come on, fish. Come on. There you go. Alright. Yeah, you're going to get a, lar a whole lot of a la young, largemouth bass. I'll show you what I'm talking about here, guys, real quick. This used to be an excellent area to cast this for the trophies. I used to cast it way out here, but you'll notice that I'm start building up slack really quick. And what you end up having to do is you have to reel it in. Otherwise, you're, if you do get a bite, and I'm not saying they don't bite here. That's not the problem. The problem is, is that you get so much slack you can't set the hook. And honestly, I'm not real happy with that. So you have to literally... And I'm getting a bite. That's what's really bothering me. There it goes. See, almost as soon as you get to the boat. <laughs> Another complaint I have is, for some reason on this map, it sounds like you're stuck in the middle of a beehive. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. Come on, fish. There it goes. There it goes. Okay, this one's giving me a little more fight. There you go. Largemouth bass. That's what I was looking for right there, guys. Not quite a trophy, but he's a big one. Two full pounds, just about. Alright, guys. Nice fish. There we go, finally. Keep him. No, I'm not. Right, we're gonna switch I don't think it's here. a common size. I think we're we got switch another. Over yeah, two. it might be a young largemouth bass, but it's pretty good size. I mean, it's a little over a pound. Uh, it's about as big as they come. Minnows. All right. Tell you what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do here, guys. I think I'm gonna it's see really since not this a whole is lot more prime time. Point, this stage. See if I might like have any camp. luck over here at now, I believe I've got more Pipe base, Challenge. I have to leave the map to be able to go get them. Now it used point. to be so that probably. around you can five to six p.m. Pass off these small minnows. You had a good chance of catching the unique bluegill. I don't know if that's still the case, but I thought I'd go ahead and give this a try because even though they used to catch them normally off of uh, flies, I do have crickets here. Here, go ahead and give them a try. The only other disadvantage I have, let me go ahead and take this down to a size 4 hook though. The only other disadvantage I have here is that it is cloudy day and I did used to catch them right here in this general location on sunny days. And a lot of times I used to let them, like I said, float down to this point right here. But we're going to go ahead and try it and see if it, if we have any luck. There we go. What do we got here? 
Oh, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Personal best. Blunt nose minnow. That's got to be the tiniest fish. Personal best for the tiniest fish. This is bait, guys. <laughs> That's funny. That is absolutely hilarious. Let's try that again. <laughs> That's hysterical. Alright. Alright, we've been here a little bit of time. We've been getting the. There we go. Been getting bites, and looks like we got us a white crappie here. No trophy, though. Yeah, the cloudy day might be giving us a problem. I don't know. Here we go again. Well, that's a decent sized bluegill. It's still common, but still pretty good size. 21 cash for that little bluegill. All right, we'll give it another try here, guys. All right, what do we got here? Ah, green sunfish. Yeah, these used to be really hard to catch over in this particular map, but... Well, I'll be darned. Panfish Overlord 1. I'll take that. <laughs> Another bait coin. I'm not so sure, guys, if I'm going to get that unique or not. But I'm going to try over on this side this time. Just to switch things up a little bit. If we don't get anything here, I think we're done for the day. I think we're done for the day. Now hopefully this won't count as a snag. Because that could be a real problem. There we go. Well, young largemouth bass. Yeah guys, I have a good feeling that Catching these guys on a cloudy day is just not going to happen. And since the peak is starting to wind down, I think maybe this is a good time to close this. But anyway, guys, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. I'll try to come back on another day. It looks like mm, two days from now it's going to be a sunny day, and that's when I used to catch the unique bluegill. I guess we'll go ahead and try it then. Anyway, guys, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.